Today, we we'll discuss the past year 2021 question 20, which is about the nuclear reaction. First, it's about the law of conservation of nuclear numbers should be not a problem for you, and I will leave that to you. And we move on to the question B. A radian nucleus undergoes alpha decay and transfer into RN nucleus. So alpha decay is something we have learned in SPM, but not discussed in STPM. So you need to recall back what we have learned about alpha decay and make sure you also revise about the beta decay also. So this is quite simple that we have the radian is equal to uh, is decay to Rn and one helium nucleus. Okay, if you look at the conservation of the nuclear number that 226 equal to 222 plus 4. So there should be only one helium nucleus released in this nuclear reaction. So the next thing is to determine the energy released in the nuclear reactions. So simple, first is to determine the mass defect that the total mass of the nuclei before the reaction minus the total mass of the nuclear product after the reaction. So just put in all the values and you should be able to obtain the mass defect is about 0 0.005222 unit, the okay, atomic unit mass. And to determine the energy release, just apply the conversion, 931.5 MeV, multiply the mass defect, you should be able to obtain the energy release is 4.6 mega e MeV. So next is to calculate the velocity of the emitted alpha particle. So I guess there's one assumption that we need to make here that all the energy release will become the kinetic energy of the alpha particle, helium particle. So E is equal to half mv squared. So take the value of 4.6 MeV and convert to Joule and equals to half m, where the m is the mass of the helium nucleus. So 4.002603 multiply the equivalent mass of 1u v squared. So the velocity here should be equal to 1.53 times 10 power 7 meter per second. We move on to the last one. A nuclear power plant operates on the principle of sustained chain reaction in the nuclear reactor. So to maintain the nuclear reaction, it needs a moderator, control rod, and fuse. So explain the chain reaction should be not a problem. So here's the sample answer for you. And instead, the function of moderator, control rods, example of a material used for each component, so these six marks, okay, all the answers are discussed in the syllabus. So here is the answer for your reference. And that's all for this question. Thank you.